So hello you people thank you thank you very much for subscribe uh, my channel so today we will see about uh, the actually uh, uh, so a few interview questions let us see the few interview questions these are all the interview questions the first one is like a uh, what is the difference between the find children and find element activity so there is a find children is a it is a collection of the uh, ui element list of ui elements so find children where we are using so if you want to uh, loop each and every a ui element from the a parent element parent ui element then you have to use the find children activity the find children output is a list of or i number of ui elements the collection of ui elements okay next the find element is like a, so it waits the for the specific items appear on the screen so it waits up to the timeout uh, uh, duration after that it will return the in ui element if a element appear under the screen so if element is not appear under the screen even the timeout then it will just throw the exception okay so if the element is not appear under the screen or, or what the if uh, appear on the screen it will return the ui element okay next question is like so what is the difference between the simulate type and simulate uh, send windows message here is the differences the compatible device also windows uh, message 80 percent and uh, Similar type is like as a 99% for the web applications, 90 60% for the desktop applications, and the background both at the background execution. And speed wise, a uh, simulate uh, type is a uh, 100% faster than the Windows message. Windows message is uh, 80 to 50%. And uh, the send hard keys, you can send the hard keys by using the Windows message, but not the simulate click. Using the simulate click, you, you can't send the any uh, hard keys. So, like enter, tab, these things are all okay. Auto empty field, so you can't empty the field so in using the windows message and windows message but uh, similar type so you can just do and what is the next one is uh, what is the uh, what is what is the use of a private uh, property in the, any activity all the activities has a, a common property called private so what is the use of this one if you click on this private property if you check this one checkbox so it won't log any data into the log messages that is a use okay so any activity you don't want to log uh, other mean yeah, so normally it will log all the activities uh, what all the actions in the backgrounds but uh, if you don't want to log this some uh, confidential information then just uh, you can just check this one so next question so in RE framework so uh, which activity is used to get the items from the queue so that is a get transaction item is a answer get transaction item is used to getting the item from the queue so what is the output of the get transaction item the get transaction item output is a queue item that is the next question and what are the activities it used to send a mail, send exchange mail message, send IBM note, notes mail message, send Outlook mail message, send SMTP mail message. These are all the things. So, and what is the send? How, how can you send multiple attachments? So, it's using the send Outlook mail message. You have a property called attachments collection. So, here you can give the a list of you know, file, file paths. So, that is a multiple uh, files you can attach into the single mail. By using this property the next question is like how do you add the items to queues by using the add queue item is a activity so and do you know what is the global handler the global handler is very like a so it's like a workflow so it designs for the determine the project behavior so if the project has any exception in any workflow any workflow any place in the whole of the all over the project so this will help this workflow will help okay so it will redirect automatically to the global handler ex, uh, workflow handler work workflow so and also keep in mind the third third point so only one global handler Exception handler can be set into the, the whole project. So, okay, you don't have a multiple global handler pro workflows in the one project. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much. So, please subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Thank you very much.